Investors, if you're looking for a way to invest out of state, but you don't want to pay those turnkey provider premiums, you're going to want to stay tuned to today's show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, James Wise here with Holton Wise TV. Today we are doing another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show for Rashul and Tarek, all right? These are a couple of investors out of California, right? You guys contacted Holton Wise because you wanted me to help you guys build a portfolio. We are trying to add five doors every single year, right? So we can help you guys achieve some financial freedom, get you all out of the rat race, all right? And uh, we've done videos in the past, right? You guys set it up to do 10 10 videos with us. This is our, uh, let's see here, this is our fourth video, right? And this one is actually a property you guys found, okay? Just so everyone's out there that's aware, guys, I will look for properties for you based upon your criteria, but if you see something that strikes your fancy and you're interested in it, absolutely will I look over that property for you, give you my unbiased opinion. That's what we're doing, okay? 16, 62 Hillcrest Road, Cleveland Heights, 44108, been on the market, look over three months listed at a hundred and thirty five thousand dollars now what we have this this property is listed by a, a realtor out of berkshire hathaway and as you can see uh through the photos well first of all the exterior photos look pretty good right it looks pretty nice out there uh things are looking good but once we get inside we are going to have to do a little bit of work right you see this bathtub guys your great grandma's uh like pink bathtub ain't gonna cut it tenants these days okay and that uh, that flooring and stuff that's just not gonna work so we're gonna need to do some updates now as far as like the photos you're looking at here they actually look pretty decent okay but i still think we're gonna be spending approximately 10k in each of these units fixing them up like photos like this are tough for people because like from afar from like a six foot away stance or from your phone or your computer like Things look nice. It looks rent ready. It looks fresh, but it's actually not like somebody moved out and it wasn't repainted. So like if you get really close, you can see like it's all chipped here. It's all chipped there, 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 right there. Right. If you, if you like look really, really close, you can see all that stuff. And but from the photos, it, it doesn't look that way. But when you're actually like in the homes with the tenants and they're in there, these are the things that like just stick out. Right. And we got this ugly flooring, ugly transition there and it looks like they just did like a like a deck paint uh which i'm not too thrilled upon like even in this room right like you probably it's, it's very hard to see it from where you're at but like right here all this this paint this is all chipping and peeling like it's all jacked up right here right here you can see the floor it's coming up here coming up here right again from far away pictures these things all look rent ready look fine but like when you're actually in the property showing it to tenants these things they stick out like a sore thumb uh we're gonna have to totally redo around here right this is all leaky and grimy and nasty uh this bad boy right here i'd like to see them a little bit more updated right get yourself a better quality tenant when you provide uh, updates just another example right it, it looks okay from afar but like look right under this windowsill here you see all that all that peeling okay that's got to be addressed there's possibly a leak here you got a nice little hole right there all that stuff right here okay just just stuff like that like this is like a might even be like a hole in the floor with a really horrible patch right there just things of that nature right so it's not cosmetically up to snuff you know both these kitchens they're outdated okay so that's what we're dealing with uh here's the mechanicals everything is uh, said to be in working order various ages uh you know mid to end of life okay nothing's totally brand new these might be like 10 15 years old five to ten years old that one actually looks pretty new though that that last little hot water tank okay so that's what we have so you do have to do some work to this, but it's still a very nice property, priced very, very well, right? Because what you get, okay, 
here, here's another issue I had. What I got on the screen for you here, this is uh, a market estimate of the rent roll. Now, as you see there, it says three bed, one bath, three bed, one bath, one bed, one bath. Okay, there's three units in this property. As you see, I put question marks there. The listing agent, we've reached out to him. We have not heard back from him as of the time of me filming this video for you guys. Uh, I don't know why he chose to do his listing this way, but he's got one unit occupied, right? That unit one, that's totally occupied, does not provide what the rental amount actually is. So we've got no clue what the existing tenant is paying. But market rent should be 800 assuming it's a 3-1. But we are not 100% sure that my bed bath count is correct, right? He put in the information that the, the house is three units and it has a total of uh, eight bedrooms, okay? So what you see on the screen, 3131 three, and then uh, 2 1, right? That's the eight bedrooms, right? 3131, three, 2 1, okay? But I don't know for a fact if the house actually, if, if those are like the exact numbers, because this dude doesn't break it down by unit. And again, we haven't heard back from him. But assuming we have 3131, three, 2 1, we should be getting a rent roll of 2150 from this building, right? So 25,800. Now, is it going to be exactly how I've listed it here? No, because I, I don't know if we have a, if we're dealing with a 313121, uh, if we're dealing with, with a, let's see, I don't know, if we're dealing with some other combination, right? I don't know what the units are, but with a total of eight, divide it by three, I think we'll get somewhere around the 2150 range, right? I'm, I'm working off of limited information from what the guy gives me. I don't know why anyone would do a listing with an occupied unit, let people know it's occupied, not actually give you uh, the information of what they're paying nor give you the information for uh, the beds and baths and the vacant units. But that's what we're dealing with, right? So one of these is occupied, two are empty. I've laid out market rents for everything. Now, to get to market rents, you got to fix up all that jazz I just talked about, right? So as far as the price, though, 135 I think they priced it very, very well. I think we try to squeeze out a tiny little discount. Let's try to get it at 130 And to clean up those units and get us market rent tenants, I think we'll be putting in about $20,000, right? So that's going to be approximately $150,000. Now, there is a minor POS that you have to assume. Uh, I will go ahead and uh, send that to you. Let me pop it on the computer screen here real quick. It is like... Essentially, you have to assume this, but it's more or less irrelevant because it's things you would need to do, right? Like that $20,000 number is going to cover this stuff because, like, it's pretty much nothing, right? Just, like, caulk around the bathtub and, and floor seams. So it, it's just negligible stuff here, right? Repair the leak at the bathtub faucet handle. These are all things you need to do to the property to get it to be rent ready as well. But the city is going to need to inspect it and clear these things off, though. So that's where we're getting our twenty k, right? Our twenty k is going to be to get it totally rent ready and clear off that POS, right? So that's where we want to do. So with all that said, all right, we'd be all into this at 150. We bring in the 2150 a month. I anticipate us spending almost 1200 a month on average, leaving you guys with an NOI of 961, almost a, a little bit over 11,000 a year, right? Almost 12,000 a year, right? 11 and a half thousand would be your NOI. If we picked it up at 150, right? That makes it a 7.7 .7 cap because we have 130,000 to buy it, $20,000 of initial investment, right? Our mortgage down payment is 32 and a half. That's 25% of that 130. But our cash on cash return, remember, when we calculate our cash on cash return, guys, we're not taking our NOI and dividing that by just our down payment. We're taking our NOI, which is going to be that 11 and a half, and we're dividing it by 32,500 plus that $20,000 of repairs, right? So that's how we get it, right? We get 11 and a half divided by like 52 and a half gives us a 13.4% cash on cash return, right? So even though you have to do uh, that much uh, renovations, it's still very, very good deal. Priced very, very well. I pulled up the comps for you guys. Now, you may have heard me say this in the past uh, here in the Cleveland market. We have a large supply of single-family homes, large supply of duplexes. What we have a very small supply of is going to be triplexes and quads. Now, when I teach you guys how to run your own comps, you take a highly populated area, right, an urban-type area. I'm not talking like farmland, okay, just like a very densely populated area like we have in the greater Cleveland area. I want you to do quarter-mile comps over a six-month period. Uh, 
six month time period okay you're going to look at your sold comps if you guys need access to comps to run your businesses go to holtonwise.com click the property search for sale tab and i'll give you my direct mls access to allow you to get your own comps whenever you want them you'll get the same broker access i have for comps so that's how you want to run your comps but in purposes of this particular property i did it differently i did not do a quarter mile by uh six months right because when i did that i only had three comps to work off of which is okay but i wanted to give you guys a bigger picture so since we have such a small inventory i gave you guys quarter mile comps over the last two years and i was able to pull up seven sales now you guys would be doing very very well because this one right here 1670 hillcrest this triplex in a quarter mile of yours sold for 126,000, and then the remaining six triplexes all sold for more than what you'd be all into this one we got one at 165 one at 178 another at 178 one at 182 and then the last ones 188 and 190 so so i said they priced it great they're at 135 we'll try to whittle them down just a teeny bit get it at 130 you put your 20 in you're all in for 150 and you are priced better than six of the seven triplexes that have sold in the last two years so i think you guys found yourself a pretty good property i think that should be the strategy we take to try to take this one down for you of course this is just the start of your due diligence we also would want to write up that contract contingent on your own third-party home inspection see if there's any other issues right i'm assuming there's probably not because that pos was fairly clear uh, but of course trust but verify so we'll take a look at that everybody else who's watching this show just so you know this property it ain't available I released these videos on Holton Weiss TV publicly only after the fact, right? So I sent this to Rashul and Tara a couple months ago so we could actually privately work out the deal. Then I released them publicly for everyone to learn for free. So if you want to work with me in the same way they did in real time, send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll give you a call, talk about how the process works. Everybody else, new viewers, do yourselves a favor and smash that subscribe button. Just go ahead and give it a smash, a smash. Smash just like that, man. Let me see your smash fingers. All right, because honestly, we need subscribers here on Holton Wise TV. And when you do that, it lets the algorithm know that you guys are digging what we're doing. And, uh, you know, we're trying to get our message out there to other people. So, you know, throw us a thumbs up as well. That's all I've got for today. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.